Alright, what did I say? Said I wasn't going to do a video today. Unless something happened that kind of forces my hand, makes me want to do a video. Here I fucking am. So what could have possibly happened to make me interrupt my huge project so that I can talk to you guys about this shit? Well, this shit happens to be that in San Diego, California, there are teachers who are volunteering to teach illegal children in class. Personal, in class, human to human learning. In California, the teachers union has been flat out fucking refusing to teach children in class. Because it's dangerous. Because COVID. But they're fine volunteering to teach illegal immigrants in class. Because obviously, no illegal immigrant is going to have COVID. They come from poor countries. Their country isn't wealthy enough to have COVID. Right? Like, I'm... I, there, I mean, the point for me was very long time ago, but it's like the stupidity is ramping up more and more and more, and the idiocy of people that, okay, so this is fine with you. It's fine to go and teach illegal immigrant children on the taxpayer's dime. You think these kids are going to, you think their parents are going to pay for this shit? Fuck no. They're going to fucking do it on taxpayer dime. You think these teachers are going to do this for free. They're volunteering to do it. You think they're going to do it for free? Mm, I think there's going to be money that's going to exchange hands. And even if they are doing it for free, you're telling me that you're willing to teach illegal children for free, but you won't teach American children for pay because COVID. Like, the stupidity has to get to a point where we break a threshold and, like, the really, really dumb fucking people have to start looking around going, okay, this is starting to be blatantly fucking stupid now. Like, it was it was fun for me when it was just kind of this, you know, clever little six-year-old game of I hit them, and then they hit me back, and I go, Mom, he hit me. And then Mom punishes him, even though what he did was a retort. You know, that, that, that stupid fucking game of we're going to smack you guys, and then when you smack us back, we're going to bitch and whine and go, ah! victims at some point it has to fucking break through a ceiling of stupidity and we have to look around and go what in the fuck are we doing we're not willing in this country in at least one state to teach American children's but we'll happily volunteer to teach illegal immigrants Awesome. Awesome. Fuck your kids. They don't matter as much as kids that shouldn't matter at all. At least not in this country. They don't belong here. They're not fleeing oppression. No fucking 12 year old is fleeing oppression. Their parents sent them up there because they want to go live in America. And they know that once all these fucking millions of kids flood across our border, what do you think happens then? You think we're just going to, oh, I guess we just adopted all these kids. No. The idiot fucking Democrats are going to go, we realize that we have split apart all of these children. And we made a vow to bring all of these children together with their families. So every parent that has a child in America... Come on down! We need you here. Because we need to rejoin families. Every child that they take into this country that was just sent up here by their parents, they're splitting that family apart, aren't they? That's a problem, isn't it? I don't know anymore! Because it seems like the shit that's been a fucking problem for four years all of a sudden isn't a problem anymore, even though... It's just getting worse. Like, I, I almost said it hasn't changed. It's getting worse. 
Every fucking problem that we had for four years under Donald Trump is now getting worse under Joe Biden, but it's fine. Unbelievable. Like, seriously, there has to be a stupidity threshold that when we break through a stupidity ceiling, a dumb ceiling, that when we break through that ceiling, we all kind of have to look around at ourselves and go, what in the fuck was I thinking? And I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted we haven't hit this point yet. What are we doing? Like, what, what, what is even important to us anymore? Seriously, what is even important to us anymore? Black lives? Clearly that's not the case because black lives are being lost in droves in all manner of cities around this country. And we just go, well, you know, black people are black, you know, they're just murderous. So they just kill each other and we can't really do anything about that. It's when white people kill black people, that's when it's a problem. So we don't fucking care about black lives. Otherwise we'd be doing something about all of the black life loss that's going on. So we don't care about that, right? Do we care about the immigrants at the border? Because all I've been seeing is cruelty going on, and, and, right? So, like, we don't like kids in cages. And for a long time there, under Donald Trump, he, he was shutting down those facilities because no kids to put in those cages. So, we got rid of all the kids in the cages by making sure there was no kids with which to put in the cages. He, he took my idea. If we stop the illegals from coming up, we won't have any in cages. He stole my idea and applied it, and it worked wonderfully. But now we've got nothing but shit tons of kids in fucking... Well, I, uh, they're not in cages anymore. Now they're in, like, vacuum-sealed plastic bags. So we don't cage them anymore. We just bag them up like drugs, right? Not even gonna bother to make that joke. Just like drugs. Man, fuck it. We, we bag up these kids like they're drugs these days. We wrap them up in fucking tinfoil and we stick them in cellophane, cellophane plastic bags. So much more humane than saying, don't come here, we can't take you, we won't take you, it's illegal, it's against the law, stay home. And if you wanna come here, well, we take in so many people every year and you're gonna have to get in that bandwagon. Get on that caravan of motherfuckers that do shit the right way. Of people that aren't criminals. Now, and here's another funny thing. This is a point I made years ago. Every single illegal immigrant in this country is a criminal. Every single one of them. The children, the women, the babies, the adults, the men, the little girls, the little boys. They're all criminals. You want to know why? Because it's illegal to cross into our country and then just squat here. That's illegal. They are in the process of committing an illegal act, which makes them criminals. So when Donald Trump said they're all criminals, yeah, they are, all of them. It's a crime. But it's a crime that we don't really give a fuck about. So do we even really care about the law? For everybody that says, yeah, I care about the law. Do you really? Because apparently we fucking don't. Everything that every, every one of us says at any point that we care about, at some point or another down the way, we make ourselves a liar. What are we doing? As people, as a society, we have no consistency. None. None whatsoever. I have to put minimal effort into staying consistent on this channel and I have been able to do it now for f four years straight and counting. There is not one time when somebody has brought up to me, okay, now you're saying this now, but this is not what you said before about the same thing. Not one person has been able to find it and I dare you to fucking try. Go right ahead. I dare you. So, if I find it totally easy to stay completely consistent about my belief structure, my principles, what are the rest of you doing? I, 
it's not that hard. You just develop a principled set of beliefs that make sense and work rationally within the world. I don't like crime. I think it's counterproductive. It's bad business. It, when you steal from somebody else so that you can you know, grandize yourself, it's just bad. It's just wrong to do because you wouldn't like it if somebody did that to you. And believe me, there's always a bigger fish, motherfucker. Everybody's a bitch to somebody. Make no mistake. And big giant dogs still get chased by teeny little dogs. So everybody's somebody's bitch one way or another. It's all kind of circular. So let's live in a world wherein everybody just steals from each other. Awesome. It'd be fucking stupid. I'll walk out every morning and go, you know what? This car here with no window looks a hell of a lot better than the other car I stole the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one because it's already got no window. Because somebody broke it out already, obviously. They just parked it here because it's their car now. And now it's going to be my car. Really the world we want to live in? You want to be the last motherfucker out to the parking lot? Shit! No more fucking cars. I'm going to have to go to some other parking lot and steal one. It's asinine and stupid. Crime's bad. I think the people murdering each other is crime. See above. I think we should all have a relative level of respect for each other. Just human, common respect. That all human beings should just be given as just a basis. This is my base level of respect. You want more respect from me? You're going to have to earn it. You want less respect from me? You're going to have to earn it. And I think we should also understand reality. If you're an asshole and I call you an asshole, it isn't because you're black or a woman or Latino or trans or whatever the fucking thing it is. It's because you're an asshole. All peoples of all colors and creeds and beliefs and whatever. You can all be assholes. Stop trying to muddy the waters with arbitrary dumb shit just because you want to not be in trouble. You're in trouble because you're an asshole. That's the thing you need to stop. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. It's, it's not hard to come up with rational shit that works in the world. And if pe I also get very little criticism on my principles and my beliefs. Even when I was accepting and entertaining stupidity from the other side, my principles and beliefs were never really attacked. It was always my support of other people in their support of my principles and beliefs. Explain that. How is that not stupid? So you're fine with my beliefs when I believe them. It's when somebody else believes them, then, then, it's, then it's a problem. Because I talk to these people and say, well, look, this is what I believe on this, on this issue. And I would lay out what I believe in, in you know, as, as basic, dumbed-down English as I could possibly come up with. Because it gets hard after a point. So, Right? And then they go, well, that makes sense. That, you know, that's fine. But when he does it, this is what it means. No asshole means this. What are we doing? Seriously, what are we doing? How stupider as a people can we get before we decide we've hit a threshold of stupid and we need to start coming back. It, it, honest questions. How stupid do we need to get before we realize we need to crack the spine of a book here and there and actually just, yeah, because that, yeah, that's fact. It's just what happened. We, we are going to take all the dumb shit out of it, all of the, all of the fucking idiot fucking perceptions. And all that shit, we need to boil it down to, this is fucking reality. This is what this person said. This is what this person did. Did they jive with each other? Nope. Well, then that person's a piece of shit, and we need to ignore them as a people. 
This person said this, they did this. Were they the same? Yes, they were. Well, that's somebody deserving a few more points of respect. Right? Like, that, that's how... It's a social contract. It's the same one that I didn't sign when I decided to become a human being and joined in the social pact of the social contract. But, seems more and more every day, people are just opting out of the social contract. I'm still in the social contract. They've decided, I don't fucking care about you or your social contract. I'm going to be as rude and dismissive to you as I fucking care to be. But I haven't fucking helped you. You decide to be the same to me. Because then I'm going to be a part of the social contract. And everybody else that, you know, would give a shit about this, they're also a part of the social contract, and they understand that we're both supposed to be in the part of the social contract. And when I dipped out before, that was just because I didn't fucking care. And now that you're bitching at me about it, well, now I'm back in. And this is a fucking problem, and you need to stop yelling at me so much. What in the fuck? Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's just fucking it's shit. It's just shit. Like, living in this world right now is kind of shit. I'll be honest with you, living in this world right now is kind of shit. Every one of you that has children, God, I, you didn't realize five years ago what pieces of shit you were going to be for bringing that poor child into this fucking retarded ass world. And, and I feel bad for your kids. Y'all should have fucking thought harder, looked at the world more, seen how stupid we were. And thought about how stupid we could get. And you should have said to yourselves, nah, our species needs to die off. We can't have kids, sweetie. I I'm sorry. You tell your wives. And look, man, our species needs to die off. We all just need to go. You want to know what the big problem with COVID was? It didn't have a 100% mortality rate. That's the big problem with it. It didn't just eliminate us. We don't deserve this planet anymore. We don't deserve anything we have. We're too stupid to deserve anything good. All of us. We've just all become this way. And, and for those of us who are trying to fight against it, you know, it, 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 it won't matter. It won't do any good. We're going through this. And you're going to become a part of it, whether you like it or not. Honestly, we keep going through this cycle over and over and over again. Racism seems to be a cycle. Stupid as that is. Uh, 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 just, just the political downfall of humanity seems to be a cycle. Stupid as that is. We're, we are bound and determined to destroy ourselves. So why don't we just fucking do it? Stop having kids, folks. Stop having kids. I'm telling you, first of all, your lives... People will tell you that having a child is a wonderful and meaningful thing. Eh, it can be from time to time. But so can not having a child. Like, so can just doing fun things on your own. There's amazing things that you can do when you have the money that a child's not sucking up. Just throwing that out there. Buddy of mine, his wife, they don't have any kids. And man, they, every fucking year they take about four or five vacations. They've gone to some very fun places. They go to Vegas every year. They go camping for a couple of weeks every year. They do this kind of shit every fucking year. They do what they want. My cousins. Yes, my cousins. A couple of my cousins. Cousin and cousin-in-law. Um, They've been married their whole, you know, fucking since high school or whatever. Met, met each other in high school, I think, or college, one or the other. And they've been married for decades, right? Perfectly happy. Never had kids. They've been all over this fucking world. They've gone to the rainforest and had some adventures there. They've been to Egypt. They've been to the fucking... Name the fucking country they've been there. They've been to Nicaragua. Like a place where I was like, Nicaragua? Isn't it bad there? And it's like, well, yeah, it was bad like the 80s, but not anymore so much. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's cool. Jesus Christ, Nicaragua. Like, they just... they Every year, they decided to go on a trip to some foreign country. And they would come back and show us slideshows, and I would want to fucking murder myself. No kids. Dinks, they call them. Double income, no kids. Dinks. Everybody should work towards being a dink. I'm telling you, your life will be better. 
you'll have more fun, you'll be able to do more fun things. Just don't have children. I'm really going to start trying to convince everybody I see, don't have kids. If you haven't had kids already, awesome, don't have kids. If you already have kids, well, you fucked up. Just tell them not to have kids. We need to start a culture of no kids, no more kids. Because we need to die off. We just need to at this point. We need to. We're getting so stupid and it's becoming a global thing. Like it was one thing whenever, you know, Rome would all of a sudden become really fucking stupid and then the whole fucking place burnt down and everybody else kind of went, fuck them, I guess we're not in their control anymore. Right? Like, everybody else just kind of laughed and went back to their shit. We're just like, oh, lost that oppressive dumb shit. Well, whatever. And, and everybody went on with life. It's a global thing now. We are all infecting each other with total moronic. It's worse than coronavirus because it's going to kill us all. It's just going to do it far more slowly. And it's going to feel so much stupider when you go. At least if we died from a virus, you go, oh, well, fuck, what were you going to do? No, I died because I'm just people are stupid. I said the N-word in a, in a text message to a friend 30 years ago. Wow, and they put you on death row for that? Yeah, man. It's rough. No, it's stupid. It's where we're going. So, I guess enjoy the fun times while they last, folks, but they were decades ago, and most of you didn't get to experience it. So, sucks to be you. It was really good to be born in, like, 19 between 75 and 80 that's a good time to have been born if you were before that you had to deal with some fucked up shit you were after that well you never you never got any good stuff the 80s and the 90s man that was it those were our only good decades 80s and the 90s and the fashion in the 80s was so atrocious that honestly you can really almost not count that. For like all the socio-political stuff, the 80s and the 90s were pretty fucking cool. Maybe not the early 80s, but definitely the 90s, early 90s and the late 90s were good times. And then all of a sudden, Y2K hit, and we all just went stupid. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that was the problem. It wasn't that our computers were going to be set, reset, and they were going to decide that it was 1900. It was that our brains were all going to reset, and we were going to decide, Duh! I don't know. <clears throat> but we've definitely grown stupider as a people. When you now have teachers saying, I refuse to teach in the classroom because I might get sick. I might sicken my loved ones and people might die. And then they go, okay, well, that's fine. But we have all these immigrants, all these poor immigrant children that are here illegally. Oh, well, I'll teach them in the classroom. We all deserve extinction. At this point, I just don't even fucking care.